This town is a gallery. The windows of these shop fronts are the frames. When we started thinking about setting up Nexus, Drogheda Town was looking pretty grim. Um, a lot of the streets had began to become empty. Some of the biggest shops in the town had already been lying idle for several years, and now what had happened is smaller shops were starting to be wiped out. Um, we realised this might be an opportunity. It, it, was, it was a negative thing happening, but we thought maybe we can get in there and do something positive with the streets. As a local person, I definitely felt something needed to be done. This is the town I was raised in, and I hated seeing my hometown becoming a, a derelict, desolate place. I wanted to do something positive in it. It's, it's like that old saying, John F. Kennedy, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Well, the original idea for the Nexus project it was kind of the brainchild of Declan Kelly and Els Borgart. And they had come up with the concept for the project, but didn't know how to go about actually installing it and how to actually create it. So they had the idea floating around and they set up a society called the Drogheda Arts Society. And I'd attended a number of their meetings and I previously knew Declan from attending a portfolio course. And he said, would I be willing to get involved considering my experience, and I said absolutely. We professionalised um, and opened the panel to a fourth member, which was Jessica Bridgman. So each of us have our own speciality on the panel, and so we set it up as a group. Our original goal was to set up studio spaces. It was, as I said, when Jed Nash got involved, uh, and also Alan Costello, we started looking at other opportunities. And rather, we realised that something that would be even better than, than setting up studio spaces was to maybe use the derelict spaces. And we realised, well, why don't we use art to fill these spaces, uh, do something really professional, something really contemporary. Councillor Jad and Ash was very important in helping us there, and also Alan Costello from the Chamber of Commerce. We couldn't have done it without him. They obviously have the connections around the town, and we didn't have reputation yet and I think it was very important to get the support of several people to be able to convince people to, uh, to participate in this project. Many many business people in Drogheda and premises owners have been very generous with their time and with their own buildings and are only too happy uh, to support this project. As far as we're aware this is an unprecedented project for Ireland. Uh, we understand that similar projects have uh, taken place on the continent. In some ways we were uh, replicating that but this is a uniquely Irish, uh, a unique project from uh, an Irish point of view. I think um, instantly the aim of Nexus Arts was to display art in the shop windows or in the empty shop units in a professional way and that way to promote um, emerging as well as established artists um, from the town and beyond. Um, give these artists a chance because we know there's a, an incredible potential, artistic potential in the town. We really want to put Drogheda on the map um, and the locality, the people of the town, there's a huge creative talent there. Uh, people are interested in culture here in this town. Um, people want to see things and people have a huge pride in the town. I suppose what we're doing in the windows is making the town a little bit more interesting. We went and found artists through the Drogheda Art Society, that was a start. The newspapers locally were very helpful. They um, put in columns for us uh, about looking for artists in the area. We used the internet in a big way, we used Facebook, um, we set up some websites, um, phone calls, word of mouth, posters. We really just kind of 
stuck it to people. We needed to find artists and we needed to find them quick and wanted to get them involved. The actual artwork plays off each other. The artist concepts play off each other. And then you have the spaces playing off each other. Then you have the spaces in the town. So it, it has to work cohesively and all together. And for example, in the first phase of our project, we chose three artists for Narrow Westrich. Um, they all worked on similar themes, similar topics. Um, for example, John Maloney did a piece called Smile, where he interwove uh, twine into an old grid that was on one of the very kind of depressed looking windows on Narrow West Street. It was very playful and it appealed to a lot of people. So the next one after that, as you walk down our trail, was a piece from Noel Feeney and it was called uh, The Day the Shop Stood Still, kind of like the invasion of the body snatchers, the invasion of the shops, you know, where did the shops disappear to? And he again had frivolous, a lot of fri fri frivolous kind of comments like John, they played off each other in that way. Um, but they were very different. And then the next one on from that was David Bailey's piece where he introduced the mannequins. So each piece worked together as a story, if you will, for the actual exhibition. And then from that you move on to the next space so that the, all together it just it keeps clicking as you go along, or should, hopefully. The artists are extremely excited to be involved with Nexus Arts, to think that they can make a piece of art and put it in a shop window and people can go by and see their art and how easy and accessible it is to do that and just it's something really different you know it's not the same as just putting a piece of art on a wall like you've got a whole shop that you can actually apply your art to and everybody in Drogheda gets to see it not just the people that might just walk into a gallery you know not everybody walks into galleries you know and this way absolutely every kind of person can see your art you know so it's it's a really different way for an artist to show their work and it just gives them a much broader uh, range of people to show their art too so it's been really positive uh, the reaction from the public has generally been very good although i must admit sometimes people are a little bit dismayed at what they're seeing but that's okay, I mean, that's natural. Art will have positive and negatives. You're standing in the windows and you're setting up paintings or you're setting up installations and you're watching families go by and people are stopping and pointing and looking in the windows. And It's great when you see kids laughing and you know, even adults or older people looking in the windows and they have a bewildered face and they're kind of looking and then they laugh. They don't have to cross a, a doorway into a gallery. So when you think about a provincial town uh, with thousands of people viewing the art every day, that can't be anything but positive. From people that have gone by the spaces, they have been incredibly positive because they see this instead of walking ar around an incredibly depressed main street, which is what West Street is, which is where the majority of the spaces we use are, they get to see art in the windows. It doesn't look as depressed. They began to see the dialogue, they laugh at works. There's an automatic human reaction to it and that's phenomenally important. Nexus has been successful so far in that two of the premises from two of the exhibitions we've had have been rented out during the process of the actual exhibition, which shows that obviously we're getting the attention of people having the art in the windows. People are walking by and they're stopping to look at the buildings, and which has led to two of them being rented out. The artists love it, the community loves it, and obviously the landlords love it because they're renting their buildings out. So. It's great all around really. The long term plan for Nexus would be first of all um, we want to keep the connection with the town, with the townspeople and with the local artists. Second of all we'd like to promote emerging and established artists from locality as well as you know from a wider region but we would love to um, see this evolving to a kind of gallery where we give young artists that do not necessarily find a way of exhibiting their work in the, the established institutions for art. We definitely have big plans. Um, we are sending out a national call and, and even in some cases an international call to bring the best of young art. Um, and when I say young art, I'm talking about this generation and the next generation and hopefully provide a platform in the northeast for these artists from Europe and Ireland. Uh, to base themselves here and um, set up something really big. This is the dream, I suppose.
Nexus Arts is one to watch for the future. Nexus hopes to um, put Drada on the map as a respected town. Nexus is hope, opportunity and inspiration and of course community. Nexus is hopefully the future of Irish art.